Welcome back to Falskar, Tube Dwellers. We've returned to Amber Creek. We've done some good deeds. Rangar. Good morning. I found your father's hammer. Oh, let me see it. Yes. Yes, this is it. Thank you so much. Pretty excited Please there, huh, guy? Have this. You have certainly earned it. I'll remember this. I am in your debt. Good. Spread the word. Maybe specifically to the steward. A hundred gold, a dwarven metal ingot, two refined moonstone, and three steel ingots. Oh, and a silver ingot. And skill ups. And a gold ingot. He has given me refined malachite. He's given me all kinds of materials. Uh, what have you got for the sale, bud? I have some junk to offload. Some on my horse as well. Man, we really need to work on gold amounts on these merchants here in Amber Creek. I can't offload very much stuff here. That or maybe I need to find some new merchants. That sounds like a... like a strong possibility. Back to the Jarl next. An army of greed. Brother Thurlow doesn't know anything. And he doesn't want to get involved. Though he talked like he would if it were absolutely necessary. So we must notify the Yarrow. And hopefully round out my third and final what favor before I can pick a house up. Favors make me so strong! Brother Dorlo, we have this the whole structure. The monks know nothing and won't help unless Ingvar directly instigates war. Unless he instigates war. He sent men to kidnap and interrogate one of our people. And he blankets the land with his mercenaries. Is that not a declaration of war? Very well. We shall work without their help. For now. For now? I need you to do something else for me. Bandits have overrun the docks and have got off trade with Skyrim. The docks? That's not Please, cool. Go to the docks and kill all the bandits. Aren't the docks near like a, a fort? Henry. He runs the trade store there. Ask him Henry. if he learned anything helpful while the bandits were there. Is he gonna be like there and and just fine? I mean, is he just gonna be chilling out, running the store still? How do you know bandits haven't imprisoned him or... <laughs> Or worse? Where's the steward? I would really like to talk to the steward next. I think... Yes, Yalma. Do you need something? I would like to attempt to purchase a house again. Okay. We actually have one. Yeah! Available for they like me. They really like me. I'll take it for 10k. Wonderful. We're happy to have you living in town with us. Here's the key to your new home. Ooh. I wonder where it is. 10,000. Horndew. Uh, Horndew Lodge is what my new home is called. Hmm. Let's see about yeah, home decorations. Home. You can afford it, of course. I hope I can afford it. Also, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can purchase. There's a new false now, car like version of the home decorating guide. Uh, I want the key bits at least. In alchemy, I think I'm going to need 800. Uh, garden, bedroom, oof! 4,300, I think I do actually have enough gold for that. I'm half tempted just to buy it all. I don't see mention of an enchanting table. Oh, have I made a mistake? I feel like I may have made a mistake. Uh, I don't even really do alchemy yet. You know what, gold, I'm getting to the level where gold's gonna be kinda easy to come by though. Let's just spam some out. Okay, I'll speak with a few people in town about getting these items in place. They should be waiting for you in your home shortly. Hopefully by the time I get there from here. Because Chunk of gold. How much do I have left? I still have 6,000 gold. So I was actually above 20,000 when I went to buy that house. Which, yeah, I'm not too sad about having spent that much. That's going to give me a fully decked house here. And that is going to at least let me know what all's available. 
somewhere around here there is Horn du Lodge. It's over at the edge of town. I think it's this way. The map said I was facing pretty much directly at it. Is that it? Is this Horn du? Huh. Interesting. Well, I don't do alchemy yet. I suppose that may be about to change. Huh. Apparently I have become a fisher of men. All right, Horn du, what you got? What you got here? Huh. It does have a downstairs. That's good because it looks like a tiny house. Secrets of Horn du Lodge. Dear occupant of Horn du Lodge, for many years this sturdy construct has provided the hunting guild of Falskar with shelter, safety, and good times. May it serve you as well as it did us. For we have since departed, though how long ago when you arrive we cannot say, but it will have been some time. Know this, the lodge is strong, it will keep you safe. But if you seek more than simple shelter, we hope that you may find the small grotto that offered us a safe place to conduct meetings for many years. Search the lowest corner, closest to where the sun sets, and you will find the evidence that shall reveal this cavern to you. May you use it as we have, and yield from it as we did. Oh, A bounty ledger? Huh. What is this all about? The book contains various charts and logs of the bounties held by the citizens of Falskar. If you lose this ledger and need another, Yelma, the stewardess of Amber Creek, can provide you with another. Configure bounty notification. Your current bounty in Falskar is zero gold. A message we displayed every so often to let you know when your bounty is, since it cannot be included in the menu. Ah, okay, so if you get in trouble here, this is what you would use to uh, figure it out. I think I'll leave that here. I don't plan on breaking any laws. Uh, if I do, I promise it'll be a mistake, and I reckon I may just have to resolve it the old-fashioned way, paying off my debts, maybe serving a little time if I don't have the money. Hopefully I don't go over 6,000 gold worth of debts. So here's the alchemy stand right out in the open. I don't see the bed yet. All kinds of alchemical reagents. We'll check some of those out in depth a little later. Huh! Honey! I wonder, is this whole thing... Wow, really? Is this something new? Have I never... This is a food item, huh? I feel like I've never seen this before. Is honey new to Fall Scar? I think it might be. I feel like I should have seen a pot of honey. Maybe I've seen it before, like, in inventory, but I've never seen it... just out in the world. Ooh! 200 gold back. An elven bow of debilitation. A couple other valuables. A lot of gems and gold. Guess I can go ahead and pick a good bit of this up, even though I might not be able to sell the gems for a while. Not the uh, the most merchants around. The true nature of orcs. I think that's a vanilla Skyrim book. Okay, he said uh, where the sun sets. Correct. So that'd be west. Or did he say where the sun rises? Oh, there's a button. I see that button. Activate button. What happened? Oh, the bookshelf. Always a moving bookshelf. And here is a grotto. I see spider web. That worries me. Uh, somebody left a comment about seeing two flame atronox in a previous video. I just single cast that. Now I'm gonna dual cast one. No, okay, I can still only have one. Uh, I, I assumed that it must have been an enemy's flame matronoc. And uh, I... I'm gonna stick to that assumption. Must have had an enemy, enemy summon a flame matronoc right alongside me. What is this? There's something about this... that doesn't... quite sit right. Am I supposed to do something here? I don't think that note had any uh, special indicators about this altar or what I might want to do with it. Huh. I'm not sure. Maybe it's part of a quest that I haven't become involved in yet. I don't know. I suppose time will tell. I think that is it. Ah, bummer. 
There's no enchanting table. Oh, that seems like some really poor oversight. I feel like I need an enchanting table. I feel like there's plenty of room down here to make a smith and whatnot. I wonder if this is the only player home available in Falskar. I hope not. I hope there are other player homes available. God, the leaks are already grilled. What an atrocity. Ah, uh, so there you have it. I don't know that I want to bring everything. I've got a bunch of stuff in Goldir's family tomb. I don't think I like this house well enough to bring the stuff from the family tomb over to here. And a matter of fact, there's not really anything in that cave, so I think I'm just going to shut that. We'll leave that shut until I uh, have some other specific need of it. Well, that is a pretty tight fit there. It's not a bad little house, but uh, I'm not sure it serves all of my needs. Personal goal accomplished. Let's see here. They want to send me to the docks. Uh, I don't think it's technically been an in-game day yet. A fortunate find. Let's go ahead and track that. And that's all I've got in False Scar. Right at the moment. Let's see where it's trying to send us here. Also ask Harold about the ring. Okay, I didn't speak to Harold originally. Oh, 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 here I'm trying to use the wrong controls on the Skyrim map again. Uh, I think I will go ask Harold about the ring. Any information possible I'm gonna want. So here's here's the town. This looks like a ruined fort up here. The docks. Okay, the docks are not as close to a town as I thought they were. There's another fort. Up there, is that fort like... This looks like it's not going to be populated, really, because, I mean, how could it be? There's no primary path up to it. That is some kind of cool-looking terrain, though, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. So, the docks. Okay, let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Harold, and maybe make a run out to Borvold, and then down to the docks. Uh, just for the sake of finding all the pertinent locations, the inn is where Harold's going to be, right? <laughs> I think this marker shows the way to the inn. It does look a very close, very large icon up on the compass there. Harold! Hello to you. I made a mistake in not talking to you to begin with. What do you know about the Amber Ring? That I need it, and it was in a ship that sunk. If only I knew where that ship was. Uh, do you know anything right. else? I'll answer as best I can. About the ring? I mean, tell me everything you know. Just that it was sold to a merchant many years ago and then lost. Ask Wolf at the docks. He may tell you something useful. Okay, like the location and of the please, ship. Sure. If you find it, bring it to me. To Harold. Harold's anything not else you'd like the to one know. that originally I asked drinking for it, though, to get right? back to. Oh, that seems useful. What do you need the ring for? I used to live in Helgen with my wife and kids before it was destroyed. Everything we own is gone, save the clothes on our backs. We tried living out of the woods, but I could barely catch enough for us to eat. I'd heard rumors about this ring of amber. If it's really as big as they say, it will be worth a small fortune to the right people. I need that money to feed my family and rebuild what we once had. Anything else you'd like to know? It came from I have Helgen. drinking to get back to. Ah, so Harold wants it, as opposed to Sevilla. So you want to steal the ring for yourself, yeah. No. They sold the ring, it isn't theirs anymore, I'm not stealing it from anyone. I'm simply putting it to better use than sitting at the ocean floor somewhere rotting away. Anything else you'd like to know? Ah. I have drinking to get back to. And so I have a choice, and with a choice, a dilemma. When I do find the ring, I can either bring it back to Sevilla at the uh, general store, or I can bring it to oh, Harold hello. in the inn. Harold seems to uh, want fiscal gain, whereas I think Sevilla just wants it as an heirloom, as a... Uh, as a wall ornament. So the good in me says bring it to Sevilla. The capitalist in me says bring it to Harold. It's gonna be a tough choice. I wonder what kind of an award Sevilla might grant. East? Am I heading the right way here? East? Yes, that's correct. Uh, I think I've already wandered off of the road, but I think I'll be able to get back to it easy enough. There's a bridge up here on the river. So if I keep the river on my left-hand side, 
<laughs> I keep the liver on my left hand side, then I'll find ore! Look at the ore! Two bits of ore! Right out in the open, asking to be picked at. What? Have I already gotten this? Surely not. I wouldn't have gotten one and not the other. Oh, glitchy ore. I can't get the one. Apparently it's hidden a bit too deeply under the terrain. Though I can tell that the rock is uh, somewhat endowed with mineral. Can't quite put it together. My loot radar says stop and take a peek. Uh, but apparently it's just being a bit overzealous because I don't see anything here. Oh, oh, wrong side of the tower to have fallen off. Okay, we got a little bit of wilderness to go through. Let's just, uh, let's just make tracks all quiet and invisible-like. <laughs> Bandits, right on the other side of the bridge. These guys are really close to Amber Creek. I think I've no choice but to help the fine people of Amber Creek by dealing with this potentially insidious threat. Alright, you know I'm here. I know you're here. There's no surprise. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, they hurt. They hurt really bad. The Phantom Bear, though, hurts equally bad, if not worse. Yeah, what you got? What you got? Oh, yeah! Barely blocked in time. Oh my, the chief has come out of the tower. Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this, bud. There's no standing. Just battle. Oh man, did he just kill my bear? Ah, oh, the bash! Oh, I cannot take a direct hit. Oh, it looks dangerous, but I gotta do it. Ah! Okay, wasn't too big of a drop. It's normally not a good idea to make a hasty retreat over a cliff. Whoa! Yes! This flame age knock does so much damage. Okay, it was just a plunderer. It wasn't necessarily a bandit chief. But holy crap, in the time it took me to run around the base of the tower, this Atronarch did all the rest of my dirty work. Now we're left to pick up the pieces. Oh, and these are some of my favorite pieces. The looty pieces. The looty bits. Oh, that's a bear pelt. Huh. That's odd. I bet they thought that uh, they were fighting the ghosts of Hunter's past. Had a phantom bear in their face. Or maybe they just thought that I was a really impressive uh, illusionist. I haven't been making that much vegetable stew. Matter of fact, I haven't been eating the vegetable stew that I already have. I should probably do that. Not only eat what I have, but make more of it. The ingredients are all around me. Regular looking arrows, some more leather, for the most part, a uh, pretty normal bandit camp here, bandit tower I suppose. All the same, oh is that a level? Not quite, ooh I'm close, oh so close to the level. Now is this a safe leap? Oh, this does not look, no it's definitely not, wow. Look at that drop. This looks like a really neat place for a tower. Just by the lay of the land, this looks like the kind of place that they would have set up a tower at some point. And probably had it manned. If this was uh, wartime. My horse didn't run off, I trust. No siree, Bob, right there he is. Let's get back to the road. Huh. Not a few paces down the road and I come upon some... Imperial soldiers? What are soldiers doing over here? These are not your run-of-the-mill false scar guard. These are actual soldiers. 
They were murdered not long ago by the look of the still burning torch. Hmm. No indication of what did it. I can only imagine it was the nearby bandits, but I wonder what the soldiers were doing out here. Almost expect to see a note or I don't know. A courier package? There's a false guard guard. Apparently he doesn't have his eyes open very well. What is this? Uh that is a sneak thief. If I've seen one, that or it is an adventurer approaching prey that I haven't yet spotted. Sounds possible. An orc You'd hunter. Better be careful with that magic if you know what's good for you. You don't look like a regular hunter guy. I'm not sure that an axe and heavy armor are the best way to seek out and run down an elk. That actually sounds like a terrible idea. More individuals? Are those Thalmor? What are the Thalmor doing here? Are those a couple just a car? I don't understand. Walking around like that is why magic gets a bad name. You. Shame on me, shame on you. You really should be careful with the spells you cast. Huh. That is incredibly interesting to me. I don't understand it. What interest do the Thalmor have in Falskar? I guess Falskar may be a part of Skyrim. And in that case, they've got the same interest here as they do in Skyrim to root out worshippers of Talos. I think I just went off path. That might be okay. Uh, I was given a tip by one of my viewers that there are only a couple locations in Falskar that are not associated with quests. So generally speaking, I really shouldn't just randomly explore. I know that's a huge draw to the game. That's a huge attraction to any any area. To any new lands. I'm going to want to do that because I do it in Vanilla Skyrim and and all the other DLC. But I think in False Scar especially, if I if I want to try to do everything here, if I want to do every quest in False Scar, which I do, then I should uh, I should walk away from this right now. I should not go there. Okay, look, I'm gonna get close enough to discover the location so that I can fast travel later. But I will literally run from any opponents and any sign of adventure until a quest directs me there. I found a dock on the river and what looks like a lumber mill is this under attack? I see I see indication of enemies what are they? Wolves? Yeah I think they're just wolves we got wolf we got we ain't got nothing on me buddy I'm way too much of a bad mamma jamma for y'all. Matter of fact, a single swipe puts you in your place. My god, that is not what I expected to see. I thought we were dealing with a pack of three. I'm glad these spiders are not really uh, an issue any longer. Because they can really be a pain. They attack really fast, the poison drains you. This is an interesting looking farmhouse. Normally these uh, very sturdy doors are reserved for the houses of the ritzy folk. A gold necklace, it doesn't say steel. I'm gonna take that. Apparently it says I can take just about anything in here. Huh. So this stuff is not owned. Strange. Is there no one here? I see a spot of blood. I think that may exactly be the case. Started the Forgotten Depths. That sounds familiar. The Forgotten Depths? Isn't that a, a vanilla Skyrim quest? Or maybe one that was added in uh, Dawn Guard. If you're reading this, and neither my wife nor I are at our home, then we are in trouble. Look behind the crate in the back right corner of the shed, behind our house. You'll find all that you need there. Forgotten depths. I get a feeling that 
I may have just started a rather long quest. Depths just makes me think, you know, deep, deep dungeon. I'm almost, I'm almost totally certain that's the name of a, of a quest in Skyrim. And it's not a short one. Suffice to say, it's not a one episode quest. But I am loath to simply walk away. They said shed. There's a windmill. Is there a shed too, or did they mean windmill? Let's take a look in the windmill real fast. They said a crate. It looks like there's got to be a shed somewhere. Ah, here we go. A shed right behind the house. He said back right corner. Behind the crate. In the back right corner. Linar's Journal. Entry 1. We are expecting an excellent yield once again this year from the crops. This is wonderful. The gods have looked favorably upon us yet again. Looks like I shall finally expand the cellar to meet our growing productivity. On the morrow, I shall run to town for supplies. Aneka and I are very lucky. I should also send word to Yalma of Amber Creek. She always enjoys good news from this area. Entry 2. Today, I was digging in the cellar to expand it outward, and while digging, broke into some kind of chamber. It was pitch black, and I couldn't see anything inside. And Neck and I have sealed it off for now. Who knows what could be down there? Entry 3. We've had to rework our cellar expansion to accommodate for the recent findings. I threw a torch into it and saw what looked like Nordic ruins. I wonder if we could get one of the scholars down here. They may pay us to explore it. I wouldn't say no to some extra coin. Nonetheless, we've kept it sealed. It could be full of Draugr, or spiders, or, or worse. Entry 4. We did not get a restful night's sleep. We heard all sorts of god-awful noises coming from the hole in the cellar. At one point, we thought we heard scratching, like something was trying to escape. Poor Aneka was horrified. Honestly, I was a little scared too. I'm a farmer, not a fighter. I fear for our lives. If something comes out of there, I may not be able to protect Aneka. Entry 5. More noises last night. They were far more intense and loud than the night before. Aneka is scared half to death. She spends all day outside and has a very hard time falling asleep. I think I'll hire some mercenaries later today to take a look. That way we can put all this behind us and finally figure out what's down there. Entry 6. They have to be dead. They must be. I paid two large Nords, a Red Guard and an Orc, to take a look today. It was silent for several hours, and then we heard the most dreadful screaming. It stopped after a few minutes. They must have been attacked. It's the only explanation. I have more permanently sealed the hole up with planks and bolts. We won't have any more of this. We would pack up and leave, but we can't lose the farm. Not this close to harvest. Aneka has calmed some since I sealed it off. Hopefully we can forget about all this. I just hope the guards don't come by asking about those men for mercenaries. He hired four mercenaries, and they got taken out. Entry 7. I must go in. I heard screams while I was outside working the field. They... they took Aneka. I don't know who or what they are, but they have her now. They broke through the planking. There's a fair amount of blood, and I fear for her life. I will write an extra note and leave it before the cellar door. I must then seal it off so that nothing can escape. I've never fought anything in my life, and I fear I will do no good. Hopefully it's just rabid wolves. That's still bad, but it's far less severe than the other possibilities. If you find my other note, and I am not present, then I have failed. Please, get help, or if you are of able body yourself, try to help us. Even if we are captured or injured, we might still be saved. Plus, whatever is down there must be dealt with. If it escapes to the surface, it could be bad news for others, especially Borvald. May the Nine watch over me. So I found a journal. Did a key come with the journal? Maybe I need to search some dressers. Some miscellaneous food items here. He didn't take his iron sword or his bow. Surely he didn't have more than just the one sword. Right? I wouldn't think so around the house. Obviously I was wrong about the sword. He does have another sword, at least. Sword and a shield right there, along with some gauntlets. He left that behind as well though, so still just as troubling some blood on the ground floor that I missed before. I'm looking for a key. 
Oh, apparently I did get a key when I picked up the journal. I must have left a spare behind. And this is the expansion that he was building on to. And the quest has progressed. Well, I guess I've got no choice but to venture inside Farmer. I recognize that that ward, that is definitely a sign of Farmer intruders. We'll have to seek them out and catch up with Rengar. Uh, no. Reindeer. What? Wait, what was this guy's name? <laughs> I do not recall. Reynalder. Yes, we'll have to catch up with the Reynalders in the next episode. Thanks for watching, Tube Dwellers. See you later.